Yeah, I'd be chilling. And if anything, oh, I guess you guys would have to protect your own cribs. I was going to say we could all get together (laughs) in one crib. See, that's what you don't want, man. No people. Alone. Because crime's legal, man. You got to think how it affects us, you know? True. I would hope one of y'all wouldn't just be like, oh, it's legal. I'm going to kill you now. You'd hope. I'd be (laughs) alone, man. I'd be chilling all by myself. I know I ain't going to kill myself. (laughs) (laughs) He knows nobody openly wants to kill him. Yeah, and I know nobody openly. Well, I just told you guys the last podcast I would kill you for a hairline. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Shit. Yeah, but he's going to scalp really us all. You know, Alex, he's, he's, Alex is <laughs> trying to save us oh. from him. <laughs> <laughs> just, yes. Yes. Uh, We're both like... Welcome back to episode 54 of Squad Pod. If you haven't before or um, haven't already, please uh, subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. Um, especially if, if you've just watched the, uh, we just had a short that got a good bit of views. If this is your first time watching Squad Pod. If you subscribe from that, thanks a lot. <laughs> we, yeah, thanks a bunch. We really appreciate Check out the other it. content while you're here. Yeah, definitely. Stay a while. We got a ton of stuff going. I mean, we al- we always got stuff coming out. I don't want to keep saying that because we always we always got stuff going on. So always got stuff going. <laughs> but yeah, we well, got we got like ten neighbor. subscribers from that. So that was that was pretty awesome. So that was. If you're watching from that, thanks for thanks for subscribing. Um, for real, thank you. Yeah, you guys got anything you want to start off with? I do. I got a updated of the story from last week. Breaking news. <laughs> Not really, um, <laughs> but we talked last week about Matt Stone and Trey Parker getting that huge deal for South oh, okay. Park. Um, oh, okay. And I was wondering where you're going with that. I, I could Stone, not remember what news he was talking about either. <laughs> Matt sorry. Stone recently had an interview talking about what they're going to be using that nine hundred million dollars for, because <laughs> they have a plan already. Okay. Um, and from what he says, they're planning on making a horror franchise, like movies. Hmm. Um, they're planning on making a 3d South park game, whatever that means. And they're also planning on actually starting Tegrity weed as a brand. <laughs> oh <my God>. Actually <laughs> starting it as a brand. That's awesome. Yes. Uh, that's this is crazy. And, uh, another movie that they're doing. That's not South park is apparently, um, nothing but deep fakes. So that's going to oh be pretty interesting <laughs> as well. But deep fakes. He says they have like, like a whole uh, team work that like just works on deep fakes and they're making a movie of uh, like through deep like, fakes. I don't know how they had this it. team like ready to go or. Oh, yeah, they've they've made like a video before that came out a couple months ago or like over the pandemic about like it's nothing but deep fakes. And they make fun of like Tom Cruise and like other like <laughs> and Donald Trump and shit. It's hilarious, dude. Um, but they're planning on making a movie about that. The South Park game. Um, and apparently a horror movie at some point, which is going to be interesting. And they have another musical they want to do as well. So it seems like they have just nothing they but content. So many ideas. They have so many ideas. I don't know. They must have just spent all that time over that pandemic just jotting down ideas to do, <laughs> like just trying to figure out something to do. But like, it's going to be awesome, man. And then they're starting Tegrity Weed, which is going to be pretty cool. I feel like that would cost more than, I don't know. How much do you think? 900 that million. Cost us- to start That's something a lot of like money. That. I'm sure you can get investors on top of that. That's too. true. Yeah. That's uh, almost like a I'm sure they, it's most of their money, but they're also People getting People are going to hop on top of that, man. That's, exactly. that's a great idea. Yeah. And apparently they also said they have, they've been having a documentary crew following them around for years. So <laughs> they might have a documentary in the works too. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, they they got a ton of content they want to bring out, man, and I'm all for it because I mean I I pretty much like everything that Matt and Trey put out. I love like basketball. Um, they had a couple other movies. They had like one called Cannibal the Musical, which is like their first like movie that they made. Cannibal. It's it's ridiculous, dude. Yeah, and it's about like the settlers that were like getting trapped in the storm up on the mountains and they had to cannibalize. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a musical with them in it. Of course, it's a musical. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, other than that, and then you got all the South Park content that are going to be coming out with. Like, that's going to be awesome. I so, can't wait. They're going to be active for quite a while. A 3D South Park game. Is that going to be like the one that was on the uh, N64? 
With like that's the turkeys. A, that's exactly where I thought too. Like the one where you're throwing <laughs> snowballs yeah. at turkeys and stuff. I thought of that too, man. And I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it has to be like that because the other ones are just like the like you're watching an episode of the show where you're just but playing through an episode of the I show. I think that's now. what's awesome about them, and that's yeah. what makes me want to play them because it, it seems like it flows just like an episode of the show's playing out in front of you. Yeah. Like, from and the then you just get to seen. explore around South Park. Just walk around South Park. It's like an RPG. It's so cool. <laughs> but yeah, 3D version. <laughs> Maybe they'll just do the same thing with a 3D version, you know? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The It'll best be weird. part about it, man, was like with the game where most games you would see like a difference between the actual gameplay and when it goes to a cutscene. Mm-hmm. Whereas South Park, it's literally the same thing where it, it, it's seamless going from the actual gameplay to like cutscenes. It, yeah, it's because amazing. I mean, it all <clears throat> looks exactly the same. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> it's it's. I can't wait to see what they come out with other than just South Park. And I'm also looking forward to the South Park stuff. So a horde, any, any like insight on that or just, he didn't say anything else about the horror series. Okay. So, I mean, I, I have no clue. I'm assuming it's going to be, there's going to be some comedy in there at some point too. I, I can't imagine <laughs> they would make any, well, who knows? Maybe they just want to try to see if they can just do something, do something different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean that I'm looking forward to it though. Um, but that's all I had as far as far as like the recurring news. I thought that was pretty interesting. That that is interesting. Like, they got this nine hundred million. And they're like, oh, we already know what we're spending. Yeah, on. we already have these tons of stuff we have to do that we're like obligated to do. But here's what we're going to be doing in our free time. Which <laughs> I don't even know how they're going to be doing that. I mean, South Park is just such an, a well oiled machine at this point. They probably can. Like, yeah, right. They should make like another <clears throat> Team America or something. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to make a lot of different things here coming up, man. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, that sounds. I don't know. That that all sounds interesting, honestly. <laughs> like, yeah. So you said they're making another musical? Yeah. Apparently they have another musical in the works. Interesting. I don't know if it's a, a movie musical or if it's an actual musical, kind of like the, the like Book, Book of Mormon, Mormon. Like the play. Yeah. Um, Which I haven't seen yet, and I heard it's it's fantastic. I've wanted to see that. Honestly, other than – which hopefully <laughs> as long as COVID doesn't come back, I should be seeing The Lion yeah. King – in October, but the next musical in line it's that I'd amazing. actually like to see is the Book of Mormon. Yeah. So, yeah, the Lion King, Bro, the Lion King, just trumps. Wait, I I'm excited for you to see the Lion King too because I want to see what your opinion over of the overall show is, man. Yeah. It's like it was just crazy ass experience. I want to see a I want to see something else, but like that was the only one I've ever seen, and it was just crazy experience, man. You know, I saw a funny meme today that was actually related to the Lion King. And it ended. It was one of those where like it had like a picture, and then there was like a comment chain below it. But it asked like, "What was Scar's name before he got a scar?" Did you see this? Yeah. Did you guys know? Did you guys see this? No. So I can't remember the exact name, so I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. But anyway, like I guess there was some like Lion King novel series that they came out with, and it it said what his name was, and so I guess Mufasa's name in whatever language it was derived from, it means king. Like, it literally means king. Well, this yeah. name that Scars was, <clears throat> it's translated to garbage. <laughs> Damn. Damn. And, like, the, the last one comment is, was like, no like wonder Garbage wanted to kill to his family. Scar, though. You know, <laughs> like, the motherfucker, like, goes through life, ends up getting something, you know, I don't know what happened where he got the Scar. Yeah. But then, like, Instead of calling him by his name going forward, they just call him Scar. Well, I guess I want to be called Scar in the novel series. I guess it said that he wanted to be called Scar, which uh, I mean, if okay. my name was Garbage, I probably I was going to say too. if Mufasa is just like, I'm going to call you Scar now. <laughs> <You're> scar. <laughs> like, oh, no. But like, imagine naming one of your kids Garbage and the other one King. Yeah. <laughs> like, clearly, you have high hopes for the one and not the other. <laughs> Like, I know they're not supposed to play favorites, but I think it's pretty clear um, wh- which one was <laughs> chosen there. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's, that's why I was so pissed off, man. I know. Like, mom named me garbage. I got a scar on my face and Mufasa won't shut up about it. Like, I'm going to kill him. fuck's king. He just has a newborn son. It's going to take the throne. Might as well make I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him all. I'm going to kill him. I mean, it worked. 
<laughs> not in the end, but like he got what he wanted, kind of. For a while. Yeah, for like five years or so, however long it was. I don't know. How long was that gap? Had to have been a while, man. For yeah, I somebody guess. To grow up. Literally destroyed everything. Like, the entire Pride Lands were destroyed. Lions grow fast. <laughs> do they? But do trees die that fast? <laughs> it depends on what's around them. Maybe, maybe it was a mega drought. All them damn hyenas that they brought in. <laughs> damn hyenas. Those damn, damn hyenas. Drank from the elephant the wasteland. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Like they just banished the hyenas to like this, like Get out. dark, terrible, like filled with bones. It it's just this hy- awful place. Like that's that's where the hyenas are allowed to go. Everyone else, so the elephants, the, the zebras, racist. they can graze and stuff. <laughs> the Damn, hyenas are aggressive. They're like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> lions yeah. are too. Can't you can't chill? Yeah, but the lions are. <laughs> they're they're the the kings they're the rulers <laughs> they so like they the gotta order. be <laughs> they keep they the keep people. the order yeah. the, the hyenas, hyenas out here trying to fuck shit up they start popping off lions gotta keep them in check you, like, you go to the elephant grave get out all right you get the you fuck, fuck around out. too many times you're banished banished from the land <laughs> you go to the elephant graveyard you stay there <laughs> lion king is messed up yeah, people are look movie, between the lines. <laughs> read between the lines of Lion King. There's a lot more that's not told. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure you do that with most movies, though. Honestly, especially Disney movies, because there a lot of them are taken from like old, you know, folk legends that were pretty dark. Yeah, but yeah, I I had something I wanted to ask you guys. It was it was kind of like um. Kind of like a what if scenario in a couple different scenarios. So, so we've been playing a lot of uh, Left for Dead lately. So yeah, I had a lot of zombies on the brain. Um, I was talking to a guy at work about the zombie apocalypse, and I know we've talked about this before. So I don't. Mm-hmm. That's not the focus of this question necessarily. But so I want to give you guys some like apocalyptic scenarios that could happen, and I want to. I want you to answer like what your chances are that you think that you would survive in these scenarios and if you would be surviving what is your weapon of choice all right so like you know in each of these you might want something different you know like i guess we can start with zombie apocalypse i like it just to get that one you know out of the way um i mean for me i think i'd survive it like i'd say i'd give it like a Six or seven out of ten, you know, <clears throat> as long as you you survive that chance initial week. that you would survive. Let me hold nah. on, hold on. Let me let me elaborate. This these are Walking Dead zombies. These aren't like you know World War Z zombies where they can jump and run and. Okay. Not not so those kind of like... zombies. Because I mean, come okay. on. If if it's those kind of zombies, we're doomed. So you're saying there's a seven out of ten chance you would survive? Six to seven. Is that what you're saying? Six to seven. Yeah. Like a mid six, to, it, as long as I would survive the initial until when though like, wave. What you do know? you yeah. mean? Like, it's, yeah, it's like survive how, until what do you mean? when? Like, how long? I guess that's a good question. Um, I don't know how long I could survive. <laughs> like, is I it mean, just going to be over event in thirty years? They got to figure out how to get rid of it in thirty years, and you're you make it and you you're like one of the people that remember the zombie yeah, the apocalypse society type of shit like you know what i mean like it's no like think about it in terms of that like yeah it's over in 30 years do you make it through hmm 30 years of that shit is that what is that gonna be like our our baseline there is 30 years is yeah, cool with yeah. It? we could do 20, that. that's a long 20 time, years man. 20, Twenty years. Okay, that's a 20. long time to deal with zombies, though. Mm. Yeah, but like that's what you got to give it some weight to say you're gonna survive. Oh no, it. Oh, no I, yeah, I, you know I that's what, I mean? what I'm saying. I'm saying I, I gotta reconsider. I still if I was think... survive twenty years. <laughs> that's what I that's mean. Also... Like that's a long time to survive. <laughs> but I would hope. A... I mean, by twenty years, I would hope that there would be some sort of like resurgence of like some sort of society even well, if there would have to be to even get to the point where they're eradicated well that's so it's like eradicated 
You know? But that's when we're assuming that they would be in 20 years type of thing. Like 20 years, you don't got to deal with it no more. Like, do you survive through the zombie apocalypse? I think because like I think like in, I can. Now I'm just using The Walking Dead as an example. But know, I'm pretty man. sure like in The Walking Dead, it, it never is resolved. Like everyone just still turns into a zombie when they die. Really? Yeah, but they but they do rekindle society. They just know like if someone dies, you got to like you got to stab them in the head. That's some fucking yeah. Game of Thrones shit. Yeah, I like, imagine I feel like, like grandma dies and it's like, well, who's going to stab her brain? Like, I think I don't know if anybody would survive after like for 20 years. Just like if a zombie apocalypse happened, that cuts off pretty much everything. Like you you're not getting everything. I mean, well, not only just rebuild, but I'm thinking about think about food. Like most of the food's going to be either not like non-existent. You're going to have to find some food. You know, everyone's going to scavenge until there's nothing, but there's nothing producing more food. in that meantime, you well, if you're. Yeah, if you're getting compounds and shit like set up, you could probably get a farm going and like at least get some vegetables, maybe have some like yeah, I mean, cattle. tomatoes in like a couple months, you know, like, it would set it would set things back like hundreds, like centuries yeah. as far as like technology. It would set things back centuries, but like eventually yeah. I think humanity I think, would survive. <clears throat> you think? Yeah. Boring. Humanity would. But would Vernon? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You gotta worry I about think, people as well, I still other think than I, the zombies. I don't know. Yeah, I may survive the zombies, but get type. capped by somebody else. You know, I'm gonna like, say okay. Like, some dude, stranger rolls up. Yeah, yeah. Barring like that. some freak Pop. accident or like someone just going on some random ass rampage and wanting to kill people, like that could happen today. I'd so, be pissed, yo. Know. If I survive like six years past the zombie apocalypse and someone shoots me over a hamburger, I'll be pissed. <laughs> like, I made it this far to die like this, you asshole. Why yeah, would you probably be that? making the first I hamburger? I would have gave you half if you would have The asked. first hamburger in like six years of someone's seen. Geez. Nobody here knows how to heal this shit. There's no doctors. Oh my God. What have you done? <laughs> I'm gonna I, die. I'm, gonna get I it. Still, I, I'm still gonna say a six. I think I could. I, I mean, I think I could adapt for 20 years. I say there's but like, I mean, unless I half, get like five chance, five first. half chance, five out of ten. I'll probably give me a, years. a three or a four. Oh, Vernon is not confident because I'm not. Because like, I think about me doing something as simple as cooking or something. And just not notice it. It's just like next time I was like, ah, I'm like, ah. <laughs> like you know what I mean. And then, just, like I said, like six years of running for this, like just yeah, while, you uh, know, like Vernon's gonna make I, himself I a know. chicken parm careless. and fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> catch the house off. <laughs> <laughs> you were your own downfall all along. Yeah, that's, <laughs> some shit I like that. I survived six years and I'm gonna die like this. <laughs> you wake up, you on fire. He left a piece. That's what I'm saying. Oven. So, <laughs> I definitely think it's a, a very low chance for for me yeah. personally. I I think I'd be good. My weapon of choice, okay, would be like if I had any choice, okay. Like I'm any gonna weapon? say like, obviously, like if you had a tank with working bullets or something, no, 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 that'd I'm be like like a or a gun. Yeah. Like, I feel like in the zombie apocalypse, I feel like. I feel like after a while, a gun is just going to like a gun's going to attract zombies. You know? Yeah. I would like a samurai right. sword, bro. Like Michonne's. I want a slice bow and arrow. And dice and... A bow and arrow. Oh, see, Vernon, yeah. I mean, that, you know what my problem would be? I'm going to miss. You need a crossbow. And I'm going to miss tips. when I need to not miss. <laughs> you need a crossbow. But you could put whatever you want on that on the tips of those things. You know, I'm gonna I mean? I'm gonna hit that zombie 200 meters out, and then there's gonna be one in my face, and I'm gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> "Well, that's why you got the samurai sword on your back." <laughs> here's here's what my weapon would be. I want an axe, and not like not like a hatchet axe, but like a nice like like a fireman axe, axe. like a big old axe, and then on the end, like something like sharp that I could stab with, like. Like a little stabby okay. on the back, like a on bayonet. the on the bottom of the handle somewhere. <clears throat> it don't matter where. Okay, I just need to be able to stab and smash. I got you. <laughs> I just feel like, see, like sword comes to mind, but I feel you like... you have to keep it sharp. You have yeah. to keep sharpening it. Like I feel like if I that you know the time I, I forget like... to sharpen it is when like I go to cut the zombie and it just like 
it just doesn't do it. But I feel like with an axe, I'm going to most likely like smash its head in, you know? Like that's that that's axe head is shit. You're going to get tired swinging at zombies for a minute. Yeah, but by, by the time I'm swinging axes around me, I'm going to be jacked in the zombie park. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm just, hey. I'm going to be, I'm going to be prepared. Or dead. <laughs> That too. I'm just saying. I would like like an like, M16 though. If I'm taking a gun, I'm like saying. an assault rifle. That's what I'm saying. I want like an M16 or something. <laughs> like, let me roll through with that. I'll figure out dealing with the zombies. That are... <laughs> I think ideally an axe for a melee weapon and like a silenced pistol or something would be the most like a silenced SMG, something. like something with like very easy to find ammo, like nine millimeter or something. Like just something that. You know you're going to be able to have ammo for a while until you you're just going to have to start using like slingshots because yeah <laughs> you're going to use it all up. But what's your what's the next scenario that you have? So I got a couple. Um, the probably I, I mean I think it might be the most survivable, but either like a nuclear winter and this is ir- regardless of how it happened, like a nuclear winter or an ice age. How do you think you would Man. survive that? Like, I guess a nuclear winter would be more because I feel like an ice age would come on so slowly. We would just die off before it happened. So like, you know, so say say Yellowstone erupts, you know, and, you know, we are our, our, the earth just drops in temperature, you know, like 10 or 15 degrees. OK, like you think, oh, Alex is here. What up, man? Hey, so, hey, but I don't. You are now. Is would you? Are you asking? Would we survive the initial nuclear winter, or are we surviving past the nuclear? See, like, I'm I'm thinking the surviving after past it. Well, okay. Alex, do you want to answer the first one? Since you just no, just the, we'll go. Go ahead. Well, I'm we literally listen. just went to the second question. So, all right, what is it? All right, what's your chances of survival? I'm giving you apocalyptic scenarios. What are your chances of survival and what's your weapon of choice? First one, we'll the zombie apocalypse. I know we've talked oh. about the zombie apocalypse before. What do you think your chances of surviving it are? Uh, for 20 realistic. years. For 20 years, man. Yeah, I don't that was, yeah. This yeah, world that was years. forgot the stipulation, Evan, because we did talk That's about That's the stipulation. Because <laughs> we had to designate, like, we what, had to... what counts as surviving the zombie apocalypse. So, I mean, we said 20 years. So, I feel like 20 years start rebuilding society. How much of the problem. population's left? I don't know. We didn't Un- get unknown. to that far. Man. Unknown. I don't know. Uh, no. It's like fucking unknown. dead zombies. How, as many as you can find. I guess. Walking dead zombies. Yeah. Yeah. Th- yeah. We're not doing. We're not doing sentient zombies because then we're all screwed. Like, we need some chance here. I think I could do it. I think it'd be alright. You think you could? Yeah. I don't know what my percentage would be. I, was gonna, I gave myself like a six out of ten. Yeah. Barring like an yeah. accident, you know. Uh, yeah. I said three. Vernon's gonna. Be, Vernon said he's gonna be cooking food, and a zombie's gonna come up and get him when he's not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Vernon's gonna be the dude that eats the zombie. We're like, mm, that me looks fun. Oh, I'll yeah, play yeah, tons of fun. Like, Man, is... I'm hungry. We've been out of food for a couple days. Vern's like, what, are, what about? <laughs> that's how good he he's been known goddamn zombie. to eat limbs. Remember when we were playing the forest? The I remember. He turned. He you turned never into a cannibal that. That was... real quick. I There's a lot that. of them. It's like the first night, he's like, mm, meat. <laughs> what you eating there? I'm like, bird? I'm like holding lemons. Nothing? Like, I, no, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> no. I got like a leg, um, <laughs> some dude's arm. <laughs> Yo, we should play that game again. That <laughs> shit was fun. That shit was really fun. But Alex, what's your weapon of choice in the zombie apocalypse? Um, probably a machete or something. Crossbow. Vernon said bow. Nothing quiet. Can't be like a machine gun. Can I have yeah, like a fully? I have can I have like a fully loaded like armored car? Can that be a weapon? <laughs> I so said that's, no that's on what that. I would use for the yeah. the nuclear uh, winter. I okay. would be like Mad Max, bro. Give me the fucking Give me the car interceptor. Guns on. Give yeah, me the interceptor. So that yeah. that's the next one, Alex. So like a nuclear winter, you know, like the Earth for whatever reason just like suddenly Not a form our own clan, like bro. Degrees, or get the squad degrees. to have their own cars. Turn put metal all over your shit. And we'll have Mad Max times. Yeah, I think I could survive that more than a zombie apocalypse. Agreed. Like I'd give it like a five. 
five or six. Yeah. Gives us I would boost five. my five to like a <laughs> six. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, that's crazy. Like 20 years is a long if we time. Form our own gang. I think yeah, it's more exactly. likely because it's basically but, the same question. Like it's a zombie apocalypse but, minus the zombies. The, these minus are all the zombies, apocalyptic so, scenarios. You just got to worry about other people. Yeah, but, we but can, you got to do that in zombie yeah. world too. Exactly, you know? exactly. Now you just got to right. worry about people. That's what we were talking yeah. about as well. Like, but you it's gotta gonna worry about We got to keep that in mind. Things aren't going to grow as easily. <laughs> huh? I mean, you got a point. Yeah, yeah, but we'd have to make like greenhouses and stuff. David grew potatoes on Mars, man. Now, like, did the nuclear fish. winter affect the whole country? I would like, imagine. I'm, going I'm, south, I'm, man. I'm going world. close like, to the I was going to say, you want to travel, go across the country to see, yeah. like, and you try to find somewhere that it didn't affect. You want to go so, that's close why to the equator. Yeah, yeah, this, this would be a worldwide event. Like, the entire world is, like, getting oh, cold. Oh, shit. It's but yeah, I agree. That's a good point. If You'd have to travel south or center of the earth. Yeah. yeah, dig, build underground. Dig. <laughs> so, what kind of Close weapon do you think court. would serve you well in that scenario? That, uh, that I want. That you want guns? I want machine guns, man. <laughs> lots and because lots that, of guns. That threat is people. Yeah, yeah, that threats people. I want them to know I'm the biggest, baddest motherfucker. Yeah, like <laughs> check the this, ride. This is my boomstick. Like, yeah, this is my. <laughs> Let's go. Hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. <laughs> Mr. Fancy Pants. So, the next one I feel like we've talked about a little bit, but I don't think we've really talked about, like, if we would survive it. And I feel like, to me, this is, I think, the one... Uh, I mean, unless there was some crazy accident. Um, so, I'm thinking, like, a purge night. Like, I guess that's not apocalypse, but that's just, like, one night of, like, complete a forever I would you survive. Think, you think you'd survive that one? I'd, yeah, because I'd be chilling. I wouldn't be going out anywhere. I'd be chilling, <laughs> protecting my crib. Yeah. But I wouldn't be someone, out purging. What if you got something? What if someone really wants that Oculus? They better come in and try to get it because I'd be loaded. <laughs> if there's if there a purge year round, I, like, I don't have – like I'm not a gun dude now, but if there was a purge every year, I would dude. have guns. I would be a gun dude. Like, <laughs> a gun dude dead. I'd be protected. I'd be like the movies. I'd be having the shutters you shutting down in front of the windows. <laughs> Like one that goes over the door, you locking everything up so nothing can get in, and then you just chill. <laughs> all you're staying night. up all all night. <laughs> you're staying up all night because you're not going to sleep. <laughs> exactly, that's what I would do, man. I, I would not I be going out and partaking. I think yeah. that one is the one I, I I would most likely survive, just because, like you said, I'm not going anywhere. I'm yeah. finding somewhere that is hunkered down, away from people. Even just... even if you were pissed enough, say like you were like someone pissed you off, you're like I'm gonna go kill that motherfucker on purge night, no. and then you go outside your house, and then you get shot by somebody else or yeah. killed by somebody else. Yeah, exactly. So like, no, no reason. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Don't be chilling. I'll find something to do in the meantime. Just keep a gun nearby. I'll play a PlayStation, <laughs> and I'll be like, but they want that PlayStation. I hear something. Get it. <laughs> like, I hear that. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be chilling. And if anything, oh, I guess you guys would have to protect your own cribs. I was going to yeah, say man. we could all get together <laughs> in one crib. Nah, yeah, see, you that's what you don't want, crib. man. No people alone. Because crime's legal, man. You yeah. got to think how it affects us, you know? True. Like, I would hope one of y'all wouldn't just be like, oh, it's legal. I'm going to kill you now. You'd hope. <laughs> I'd be alone, man. I'd be chilling all by myself. I know I ain't going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> No. But yeah, that's what I would do, man. Yeah, I don't think it'd be too bad either. Yeah, I think I think that one would be the easiest. And that's not really apocalypse, I guess, but it's like the world might seem like it's ending for some people at a certain point. What about you, Vernon? Oh, sure. Purge night. Oh man. No. Vern, you no. don't think Zero. you'd survive it? Zero. Vern's like, nope, I'm gonna end up going out for snacks or something. <laughs> no, I ain't go. I just feel like it. The world is crazy, man. Like I feel like because I would just be trying to chill. That's what I said. That's what uh, I'm. And I, I'm going the full rundown though. I have the pull down metal shutters over all the windows, over the doors, and I'm chilling with my guns all night until so that shit's over. Maybe a of three, four on that one too. Cause if I'm, I, if I'm I do saying that, I'm giving like an eight, bro. I'm yeah. surviving the night, bro. Nah. I'm like eight or nine. I'm surviving. Break it in. I'm going to be like, ah. Ah. <laughs> as soon as they start breaking in, I'm popping. 
Unless we all we have to clan up on that one too. No, Alex no, is you a gotta hard protect no your own that. crib, man. Yeah, Alex is I'm a hard, hard no. He says he, he thinks up. one of us is gonna turn on him. Yeah, he thinks one of us is gonna turn on each other. What? That's, <laughs> That's not what, what I, I meant like that. I just like it's a legal thing, man. Like you you're not doing anything that's wrong. Implicating at that, point. that you but can't nobody, trust one of us. Yeah, but nobody <laughs> wants. Like nobody secretly wants to kill you. I don't yeah. know. You're implying that one <laughs> of us called would a kill secret. You. One of us would try to kill one of another. You assuming at three other people, man. He knows uh, nobody um, openly wants to kill him. Yeah, and I know nobody openly. Well, I just told you guys the last podcast I would kill you for a hairline, like. <laughs> What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah but he's going to scalp us all. You're not Alex, gonna get he's, he's, Alex is <laughs> trying to save us oh. from him. <laughs> <laughs> just, yes. Yes. Uh, I'm we're both saying, like, man, I'm like, yo. Come in on the purge day just having a <laughs> bad Wyatt fucking day. He's been, he's been gone for a while. Alex <laughs> just comes back with a full head of like... <laughs> Going on, guys. I don't know, man. Yeah, like, you just got blood dripping down your forehead. All of us are coming back from the purge meeting. You're like, Alex what's going on? Alex, you seem a little off. <laughs> I'm just fine, man. I, went, I got a beer. I'm good. <laughs> You've been gone for a while. Where's Wyatt? I don't know, man. I don't know. You just chill. You just, uh, just rubbing your, putting your like, fingers I don't know, your but hair. his hair feels great. <laughs> Anybody just like enjoying the the way yeah, you're just, like putting their fingers through their hair? Uh, Whole scalp uh, moves back. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I think I'm I'm still like a three or a four because uh, nah, I mean, especially silly. if I'm one person and there's groups and gangs outside. You know what I mean? I'm one person. I got guns, right. but they I'm got gonna guns try. too. And you got barriers. Like, I'm gonna try. I'll be damned if I don't, I'm you know. Chill it, play PlayStation all night. I feel like I feel like a purge would be you have the most likely chance of surviving overall, but if you if something were to happen, like if you had to confront someone, that's when it could just go south so fast. Like Yeah. I, I just I feel like I think if we're all fortified, overall. we all wouldn't really be in that bad of situations either. We're not really in the city. Or it's we're not, not really in a super congested area you're probably Plus, you in the go worst out of their way to place why to be honest i mean you're out yeah. there but you're like oh, i'm out you're... here in the middle and in, in the woods though i'm out here in the middle of nowhere kind of i'm proximity. out away from the city you're near it uh, not I'm really bro you gotta go place, you gotta drive like i got apartments miles, 10 miles. literally beside yeah it. Alex's just place, the wall. place man oh i don't know if i'd be it just yeah. bust through the wall we not good this. even if i locked my place down if they got into my neighbors they could probably get through the wall you know Oh, like yeah. they're connected. To be honest, like, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, they got to think about that. You'd, you'd want to get like, out, man. You wouldn't be able to chill. And I'd be in my neighbor's yeah. house. I'd go sorry. to my sister's. She's in, oh, yeah. She's, she got no neighbors. What if your sister wants to secretly kill you? Anyway. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. yeah take that <laughs> risk now. <laughs> or Nate. Like, you remember that pack of Oreos you took when we were 10? <laughs> I've been wanting to kill you <laughs> since then. Since then. I think it's the same answer, though, but like on a lesser scale, the answer's got to go up because like zombies, you got to deal with people and zombies, uh, you know, like if climate change happened and it was a big nuclear holocaust, then you got to deal with just people. Purge just got to deal with people for a night, just one night, you one know, night. like if it's got to be better. It's whatever they want at their disposal, pretty much. Yeah. But yeah, it's one night. One night. One night. That's what I'm saying. I think I could I could do it. I think we so. are. I think I could handle that as long as no would, one tries to. I would say you know. chances are low. Vernon <laughs> has no confidence in himself in any. No confidence in any of these things. Well, I got one more for you. What's the next one? This is the last actually, one, and this one is I, kind of a scary thought. On top of it, an American Civil War. Another one. Boy, I'll survive that shit. Yeah. What's that? I'll survive. I mean, I don't know if I'll survive that shit, but I'm going to go down in the histories fighting for the right side. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, yeah, well, I'm going to end up out there. Winners. So I'll probably, yeah. Winners. I mean, I might end up dying. So I'd, I'd <laughs> definitely rate that lower. If I'm fighting for the good well, side. Like, yeah, I'll survive. Unless I die. No, say, I mean, that depends. If I'm, not getting in, if I'm not in the war, I'm going to survive. Cause I'm like, yeah. What are y'all fighting for? 
Depends what we're fighting for. Yeah, if it's I, like well, the I, same what fighting about? I'm thinking like we are we in my scenario, I'm thinking we're not you get another soldiers. Cat? I've had yeah, two like cats. A, Oh yeah, you know what that cat oh, behind there? I ain't never that seen cat that cat. Looks back. Comfy as that's, hell. That's the one I've had for like seven. Years. Listen, I see the little one in the podcast all the time. I never see that guy. Yeah, that cat mean. looks so comfy. Look at, look at his big tail. He's got a big old fluffy <laughs> tail. You can't see it. So hey, like, that's stop my it. tail, motherfucker. He's like, get your hands off my tail. I'm trying to sleep here. You grab stop. my tail. You got problem? <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry. But I'm thinking like we're not. We're just kind of, you know. We're not actually soldiers in this war. I was thinking like we're we're being affected by the turmoil that might be caused by it. Yeah, oh, then yeah, oh, I think man. I think it's we a war is a war is a war. But yeah, I mean, this is a civil war in today's world. Like, how would that even work? It wouldn't, man. It would just be a bunch of hoopla and bullshit. I mean, who? Like, how would that even? I I don't even understand how that would work, to be honest. Because listen, the, the side, side that wins is the side that has the government on its side. Yeah, like, exactly. say we split tomorrow, and the South is like, no, we want to be our own independent country, and the North keeps the government. We win. We have the fucking government. I don't yeah. care how many guns like, they, they, they have. Yeah, on this like, one. I don't care. <laughs> <guns> <laughs> they got they the tanks have. and the we military and shit. shit. Like, you, you guys are on your me. own. Like, I have an AR-15. Like, Good. We got sixteen hundred rounds of ammunition. Like, <laughs> like great. Okay, the government would come up to you and be like, "Hey, we got some guys that think they want to just start their own shit here." But like, if we give you some weapons, would you be willing to fight? You're like, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> like, you're gonna go into fucking the boondocks and they're gonna shoot you with sixteen hundred rounds, but you'll be in an armor-proof tank. I'll like, be like, okay. <laughs> just, <laughs> I don't like, know about shoot. fighting, but I'll support your cause. I'll yeah. donate. That's what here's you're ten looking bucks. for. Yeah, here's some money. I'll throw some money at you. Like I feel like the people that think like there's gonna be this revolution and that like there there is gonna be like it's not like the government's gonna like split up all the assets fifty yeah. fifty. Like okay, right, well this you time guys we'll get, get this stuff to... and and then we'll keep this and then we'll have a fair fight and see who wins. Like, no, no man, that's not how. As soon as like that, the that video happens, of that SWAT pull. team coming through the bucket, <laughs> and the guy the falls, house, <laughs> smashing the vase on the wall. <laughs> like, I just think it's funny that people think that that that's a possibility. Like, you're not gonna rise up. You're not gonna win. Like, what? You're not no. gonna win, man. <sighs> Let's right the bare arms and protect yourself from government. I'm like, what are you protecting? Right, the government also <laughs> has that right. Like, yeah, like we, it doesn't. Bro, it, it's not just for you. Yeah, <laughs> like I understand your AR-15 is real nice, and it's got your custom glitter stock. I get it; it's very cool. <laughs> they have a tank and a missile that they, they literally do not have to leave their house. They have yeah, um, instantly like, on the side with the missiles. Las Vegas controlling this thing that's flying a missile drone, like yeah. in Montana or something. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, like they He's know where you're at because of your right cell phone, twenty four seven. Like they don't even need to like try. Yeah. I have I have two other ones. Oh, I just, was, you just yeah. Alex is just gonna add on to my topic. Okay, we only did zombies, right? That was where we started. Yeah, yeah we did zombies, right. or nuclear winter purge, and then civil war. All right. So, uh, what about aliens? I mean, I know it's very similar to zombies. Do we think we any chance aliens? I, I think we talked about this, and I still say no. Yeah, what alien? The alien? What movie? Like uh, the movie Aliens, like Xenomorphs. No, we all know that's a no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I'm. <laughs> we're like that's Mars attacks aliens. All right, let's do. I would just be playing let's that. Let's do scientifically music. advanced aliens no. first. Are they aggressive? Yeah. No. Oh, it's, then hell, it's no. an apocalypse. No, they yeah. probably wouldn't be. Like, oh my god, no. All right, scientifically advanced in the sense that they are. They have space travel and shit, but they're not like stopping bullets and shit. They're not like running around with bullets. Like it's still like Independence war. Day. It's still it's just a war. Blasting yeah. lasers on the cities and shit. Bro. I don't, no, we I don't think we'll chance. survive. I think we if have If we could chance. figure out how to blow up the motor ship or something like that, you know? Doc, but then they could just send we'll another one. Jack Goldblum out here. Yeah, but oh, it's the mothership. How many moms you got? I, I, <laughs> it's in the stepmom ship, man. It's going to be much smaller. They found us once. They'll find us again. <laughs> Yeah, but by then we're like, shit, okay, think about all the shit that we'll have, their technology left over that we can, like, look at and, Gear up. you know, just like, okay, let, let's alter this a little bit, wait for them to get back, I we'll, we'll like, go to them. By the I so just feel like if there's an alien race that finds us, and they have the intent to wipe us out, they're gonna probably do it in a clean sweep, like, 
they're going to get it when done. vaporizing Ray. Yeah. 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 Like I, uh, that's how I, I think it, it's like done. If that's their intent. Like if they really want it now, I could also see them coming peacefully and then we just kind of screw it up and then they're yeah, like, sure. all right, they're done. <laughs> same, uh, same end though. <laughs> we got there different, but same end. But at least in that uh, scenario, we kind of have time to prepare. But <laughs> I don't think I'm surviving in that scenario, bro. I don't either. I and don't. I also, on the flip side, even just like more animalistic aliens, I don't think I'm surviving that shit either. Mm-hmm. Like, like I just feel like, no. Nah. It would be so foreign. We would have no idea how to fight it. Like, yeah. things like that. It would take so much time to, to actually have a chance. Maybe I'd survive it <laughs> if we figured it out, because it wouldn't be me who'd figure it out. Because I'm not the dude who's like, yo, go figure that out. I'd be like, nah, don't go over there. Uh, Master just hit. I'm Don't the guy that's trying to stay put somewhere safe and just yeah. trying to eat. Like I'm not trying to. I'm not There's that hero. Shit in the crawling movie. around. I don't like <laughs> it. I heard a noise downstairs. Yeah, well, don't check it out. Don't check yeah. it out. I this would survive a horror movie, bro. All right, so Ooh, one that's more. A, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, slash, it's like a, a typical we'll slasher room. movie. Would you survive it? Hell yeah. <laughs> I've seen enough. I know the, the trash. No. Like yeah, I feel ghost like I have face. a good chance of that. I have, too. Yeah, let's like, let's let's like keep it on a human chance. level, like a ghost face slot, like a real serial right. killer. Like I'm gonna yeah. say, because like Freddy Krueger, no nah, man, I gotta no. sleep sometime. Yeah, I feel like I Freddy Krueger, I probably probably he gonna die. get you. Yeah. yeah, it's like just like a like a. I mean, we're talking kind of same like a purgy situation. Somebody yeah. like dating me. I'm but gonna get him. But in this em. case, I guess you're just not prepared for it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, I guess you can be if you <laughs> see that's the, that's the secret. Yeah. I'm always prepared. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm always everywhere I go. I'm looking at an object I could use. In case I have I one more, myself. but I do want to get on a side tangent real, real quick. OK, it's crazy to me just because I made the Marvel reference. I made I was talking to Marissa the other day and I was telling her I want to watch the Warriors. I don't know if you guys know what the Warriors yeah, is. Yeah, bro. Mm. It's like an old like Warriors. '70s film about like this gang, and they got to fight their way back to. Cody it's Island. funny you say that because I've been wanting to. I actually have it on a list to do a review for. I in just the watched it like two days ago, so <laughs> I do I'm want to on do it for the workers. It's on HBO Max. But anyways, the most famous line of that movie is there's a oh, there's a scene where he's like clinking these bottles together with his fingers, and he's like, "Warriors, come out and play." And I was telling Marissa this, and Tyler is sitting in the living room, and he can overhear me. And he's like, he's like, I just watched a show that's from my show. He watches a show called like Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn or something. It's like this kid's show. And like, I was like, what? And he's like, they just did this. And he rewinds the show and he shows me. And it's like, Marshalls, come out and play. And I was like, man, they made this reference 40 years <laughs> later to children that would not understand it. Like, it's just, and that movie isn't even like, it wasn't like this huge movie. Yeah. That- it was it's like, like a cult, cult movie, class. you know. Yeah, it's like a cult movie, and I'm just like, that's so weird <laughs> that like Tyler overheard me, my like nine year old overheard me in the living room talking about a movie from the '70s, and was like, I know that, I, like, just I heard got that. that. <laughs> yeah, it, it just blew my mind. My uh, favorite is the the dude at the bike whenever they have that huge meeting, and he's like, "Can you digger?" <laughs> it's actually a really good movie. It's pretty good. It's got it a is. soundtrack. It's a cl- it has a great soundtrack, man. Yeah. That opening is, is fantastic, man. It's yeah. awesome. The it's whole movie, they're just running through this, the streets of New York, and there's like hundreds of gangs. Do you guys awesome. even know what it is, like you and Vernon? Not a clue. Yeah, I oh. feel like I've seen it before a couple like, like years ago, like a you decade might, ago. I feel like you might know it because Rockstar actually did a video game of it. It came out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen the movie on TV a long ass okay. time ago. Yeah, yeah I, know it, I've, I have it in my head. Like I know Dude, it. everybody, almost everybody knows that little bottle. Clean. Yeah, I've, I've, I, <laughs> that sounds familiar. To be honest, yeah, I knew about that before I ever, I ever even seen the movie, the, like that, the, the Warriors the, like, thing. Yeah, I, see, I think I, I, my earliest memories of the, of the game that Rockstar came out with. We were young when that came out. I mean, yeah, maybe 10, 12, something like that. Anyways. <laughs> Sidetracked. Sorry. Uh, last one for me. What about like a like a cyber getting like the machines rise? You know, oh, shit. Probably not, man. Because what are you gonna do? <laughs> like AI. <laughs> like I'm Cybernet, not a hacker. Terminator. I don't know how to hack into the systems. Could you? Could you just like go like? They run on Windows like 10. Man. Maybe I could figure it out. I don't you couldn't know. go just like full mountain man and just like. I'm leave. not gonna lie. Like okay, so like are the machines like coming to life? Like. 
Moving. Eventually, I mean, they'll make. I mean, we like got Terminator, robots. Rise of the machines. But like, we don't have a think, lot of robots right now, you know. Think about like Boston. But they Dynamics. would make. Yeah. Hey man, like, could you fight a Boston Dynamics robot? Could you fight one of them dogs? I mean, yeah. <laughs> or would that thing it? chase you down? I feel. And they're giving them laser cannons on their back too. Yeah. How you killing it? Not with your bare hands. Did you see the one doing the dance? With There's the a hats. whole video of one it's dancing, dope. bro. It's awesome, but it's scary. They got the cranes going and everything. Yeah, the cranes are like what? that whole video is Why amazing. They these things lasers. They won't be because it's because. the machines rising up. Like, let's go just this That's Terminator logic, man. Like Terminator okay. logic. They create this AI, and the AI decides that to protect humans, you got to get rid of humans because we are our own worst nightmare here. Like Clearly. we're just killing each other. So. Mm -hmm. This AI just snaps and is like, ah, eh, well, if I get rid of all of you, I'll protect you, you know? And it builds the machines. And it builds machines, you know? Skynet kind of shit. Cyberdyne. Yeah. Machines building machines. We ain't making it. I guess, like, they yeah, all look if, like if that's the scenario. Unless you join in the resistance, you ain't making it. I, I, yeah. I don't know. The resistance is always the last one to go. I think I'm so reliant on my own technology that I would be one of the, like we'd be doing this podcast and my screen would like kill me, you know, like, like, shoot oh, a damn. beam in my head, just explode. Your computer <laughs> yeah. just explodes. It'd be like people like like I have an uncle who's like super like he's still got a flip phone. It'd be people like him who survive, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, See, I not guess that's me. what I'm thinking. Like eventually, like what if we just gave up technology until I know, but I'd be dude. Listen, I have a hard time not looking at my phone like. I would scroll through my phone, put it down because I'm bored, and then 30 seconds later, pick it right yeah. back. We would we would end up all know. getting together and going like up to like this cab remote cabin in the woods, and like 20 minutes in, just like man, really wish I could watch something. Yeah, right yeah. Now. <laughs> like you see that video, and you like start pulling it. No, 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 no. <laughs> you brought your phone with you. <laughs> Fuck. I couldn't. I couldn't leave it behind. I had. <laughs> what I what happens in fantasy football, man? <laughs> Scott the Waz is still posting videos. <laughs> I don't know why, but he is. He's got two how. red eyes now, and he's got some cybers he's, over his face. He's fine. It's he's not still really funny. Him. He's still funny. <laughs> he's hilarious. <laughs> That's probably what would get me too, man. <laughs> That's probably what would get me. It'd be so, listen. It's like the Terminator goes back to kill people. It's like, nah, man. He's like, hey, look at your phone. You see that new video? And he's like, <laughs> he's like, oh shit. Like, what <laughs> could he be referring to? Blows up. Dude, I got the one new episode of Game of Thrones. <laughs> like, oh, damn it. You got new shit. Of Game of Thrones? Yeah, I'm done. They rewrote they season eight. made the eighth season. <laughs> what? What? I don't know. This robot sounding guy told me, man. It's, it's going to be fun. <laughs> All they would have to he do said, for me is release something Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's that's it. Like, is finished. I can read it. I mean, with this AI, like, they could easily, like, make... Like a, re a legit yeah. video, like copying the exact style and everything was completely new content. And you could believe it. Completely. Half Life sure, Three man. is out. You can play it right now. Uh, yeah. like, <laughs> what? GTA Six. GTA Six. Just log on to this server. <laughs> Go to this building. <laughs> like, all right, all right. It's like a real life I fishing link. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Instead of click on this link, it's like, Go to this building. What right. if? We all, as a group, went to and had to survive uh, Jurassic Park. Nah, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs that eat me alive, man. Yeah. Well, I can't ride a Jeep longer that fast. I would you have you have whatever is at at disposal in the park. So if you find a Jeep, Jeep, you can I have that little ball thing? That thing was cool in the newer ones. Yeah. It, whatever is there, man. Whatever's at the park, whatever park you wanted. You want to go with the old park? Jurassic nah. World. I still think I'm dead. I don't think I have a chance years? on that one. Is it still? No, no, no. Just or, like till rescue. How code? long does it? How long do the the, the course of the movies normally take place? I'd like a probably day survive that. No, I probably wouldn't. Yeah, I'd man. Trip. <laughs> yeah, I'd trip. Or I'd, I'd be at all, man. I like fucking movie only coming at me. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, I get winded just running from like. That would be the scariest shit. Time. Other than the raptors, the T-Rex is what I'm scared of the most. Raptors I don't know if the T-Rex would realistically go after a human, though. I feel like we would be too on. little of a threat. They'd be hunting. Yeah. yeah. Like, unless the raptors like, come after Unless you, you like, run raptors by Raptors would fuck us up. Yeah, I'd be scared raptors. of raptors. That's what I would be afraid of. They're like my size, fast, and would want to tear me to shreds. Like, no. I'm going yeah. to at least punch that raptor right before it gets me. It's going to be like, what? <laughs> it's like a shark. Oh, no, All you gotta do is hit it on the nose, and it'll just 
It'll just go away. <laughs> it's for sure gonna get me. <laughs> At least I'm punching it. In the... well, I, but but like right before I go, I'm gonna punch that bitch right in the face. I'm gonna go down. My grandkids will be telling that story. Like, yeah, my dad died by a raptor, but uh, he punched it right in the right in the nose. <laughs> Bow. I seen it. Saw it with my own <laughs> eyes. Yeah, I, I don't think I'd survive anything dinosaur related. Yeah, say like you you get there on like a uh, a Thursday, your your uh, helicopter or whatever is coming on like Sunday, and you gotta you gotta survive like or Friday. Say you get there I'm on Friday, you gotta survive. I'm say, what a Friday, weird Saturday. like set of parameters you put like Thursday to Sunday, I'm not Friday to Monday. Thinking like the length of the movie, I could maybe survive whatever. like an hour and a half. A couple yeah, days. Right. Yeah. <laughs> a couple like, days. Like, the literal <laughs> length of the movie. A couple days. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think I could survive any like creature like that, you know. Like, oh, I don't, listen. Even if you would replace the dinosaurs with like a pack of hungry lions, I don't think. Like, I feel like they like, just eventually get, get the there. buildings you, would be okay. Lion. <laughs> what about like Jaws think... or Deep Blue Sea? Oh, good. I'm oh, just man. not going in the ocean. Deep Blue Sea is a little different because they're trapped yeah. in there. They trapped. Yeah, in that's there. what I mean. Deep Blue Sea is a crazy situation. I don't yeah. know if I'm surviving deep blue sea. See, I, I, I think I'm a strong, strong swimmer too, but I, I wouldn't have went down there. If you'd have told me to go to a fucking government base down in the middle of the ocean, I'd be like, man, that's <laughs> not safe. No, <laughs> I've seen this movie a hundred times. No, that's Cody, no, they're like, no. get him a submarine. If I was Cody, I was like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Be on the above the, the yeah, ships. I'll be on the up ship. The up ships. The up top <laughs> up ships. You want, <laughs> you want, you want, you want, you want like everything covered? Like you want to get in a small cylindrical tube that literally 360 around you is all like death. Like yeah. all of it. One one That's little piece of glass is, breaks though. and you are yeah. dead. <laughs> yeah. No. What'd you That's say? That's how a plane is too, though. Yeah. True. I mean, I get in yeah. planes. It brings the point. All right, like I'm back in. Submarines death. are back. It's like I think a submarine would be pretty cool, and but it has the same it has the same like risk factor. You know, here's my thing with difference between planes and submarines, and I guess wings could come off, but like I feel like if the engine fails in a plane, there's still a possibility I could just glide to the ground. And yeah, make, absolutely. If the engine fails in a sub, that's it. You're done. Like you're stuck there. <laughs> I'm sure there's Going sure down deeper, yeah. safe and stuff. They though, like, like balloons. They'll <laughs> <laughs> turn Sailors. on the generators, pump up the balloons, <laughs> pump up the balloons. <laughs> so it, like floats them to the top. Yeah, use all the air out. to blow bet, these balloons. Vernon's probably right. I bet you there's like a switch to like blow like a safety wrap. There's something. There's gotta be something. They're not gonna like. You can't go down there with no backup plan. You know what I mean? Oh shit, we lost our engines. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. <laughs> you just gotta Sorry, bring another boys, engine. We're dead. It's like, Cody, did you do an oil change on this before you left? <laughs> uh, or what about like the radio or something? Like, you, I'm sure you got enough oxygen to survive a good couple hours still. Like, oh, you can see, send another, another submarine like, down. Like, <laughs> you can send another death tube. Down. I don't know. <laughs> How am I gonna get in that death tube? They're just gonna drop know. a really big What's hook. The plan? Like an anchor, and then you just hook it on the top, and then they reel just you back. Just pull up. it up. Yeah, exactly. Just reel you up. I bet but, you, because if you put air in it like that, it would float to the top. Like if you put like, like a lifeboat, like a. But would it expand <laughs> under that pressure? It uh, might not, depending on how deep you are. Depending like that, how deep you are, you maybe heavy. have to put like helium or something in it. You know, something that's even lighter than air. You know, something that's really gonna yank you up. You're gonna be like nose down, like. You're <laughs> <laughs> <just> gonna, <laughs> like, <laughs> gonna pop out of the water, like <laughs> go up like twenty feet. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Submarines, that's kind of scary. Submarines are scary, man. And, like, oxygen's a whole other thing of scariness. Like, I understand, like, when you're high up in a plane, like, the oxygen's super thin. But, like, you could still breathe it. I mean, you're not going to last super long with it. Like, with, like, submarines, like, once that oxygen's gone, it's gone, man. Yeah, like, I would much rather take my chances, and this sounds crazy, I'd rather take my chances, like, in space and undersea, because I feel like... In space, Be scared. you you you're gonna ju- you can live as long as you can breathe. But if you're underwater, Man. like you're just gonna die from the pressure caving in and just your eyeballs pop out. Yeah, I don't know. I would. I'm not saying like I would rather do any of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I I'd do like being plane. on. 
yeah, I do like being on a plane. That's yeah. pretty like that's awesome. But <laughs> I, I feel like a submarine wouldn't be that bad. And space, I would love. So it depends like, how deep the submarine's going. Yeah, like if I'm going like pretty cool underwater, just a little bit where they're like you oh, can feasibly yeah. swim out of here. Like a, All right, like a personal submarine. Yeah. That's that's like, let me go look at some coral and shit. You know, yeah. like, they're like, hey, we're going to go down where the pressure is going to literally smash your head. I'm going to be like, mm. like nah, why? Nah. If nah. I'm starting to see fish that glow, no. Get no. me out of there. <laughs> no, thank you. Hey, I can't see anything. It's completely black down here. <laughs> There's a fish. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I've never seen that in my life. <laughs> pump, up, pump it up, pump it up. Sea monster, go up, go up. Go just, go, just go hit the fucking the helium. <laughs> Is there a pull cord like a bus I could use to go up? <laughs> Stop. Stop I'm, this ride. I'm tired. I'm tired of this. Oh, no. I feel like... I'm, go grab I'm, not, a drink real quick. I'm not super claustrophobic either, but man, I just feel like submarines would be so bad. Yeah. Like, I would just be yeah. panicking. Well, like, just by design, they're, they're kind of... They're not really that big. They're fucking coughing, man. Yeah, I'd have no desire to really do that, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, me either. A- absolutely none to go undersea. Yeah, like I don't either, man. Although the, I'm curious what's like deep in the ocean where we haven't discovered, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I'm cool with uh, a, a nice high definition video of it. You yeah, know, <laughs> I, I'm content with that. I don't need to see oh, it. Oh, that's cool. See it. In I'm cool with another person going and just telling yeah. me about it. Yeah, I'll just believe. Yeah, exactly. Them. Like, Even okay. reading about it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's, there's octopuses a... that are 40 feet down there. Yep. Okay, why not? <laughs> I have no reason to not believe you. You were yeah. there. I wasn't. <laughs> like, there's giant squids. I mean, nobody's ever seen one, but like, they exist. And I'm like, oh. okay, sure, why not? <laughs> sure. I don't care. <laughs> Megalodon. There's a whole fucking planet under there. I, I really don't. Uh. That is crazy to believe that there's a lot of animals that we don't know exist because we just can't get to them. I mean, a lot of earth, man. Just a lot of like a lot of land we haven't touched yet, you know, like, yeah, feasibly, man. I don't even know if there is a bottom to the ocean, you know, I uh, they never seen it. I think there's got to be ever, a bottom. I think it just goes straight to the earth, <laughs> <laughs> straight man, to China or you, you, in, ocean. you in the you in the things it that just, it couldn't, it just it couldn't go somewhere else, man. Maybe it's like a whole other planet in there. I mean, Black holes, the crust, like, like the Kong mansion? versus Godzilla going into the like Hollow Earth. Exactly, <laughs> a portal to Hollow Earth. Exactly, man. It could be like maybe black hole. Maybe there's a black hole in there to another planet. You nobody knows. And the aliens. That's where aliens come from. They shoot up out of the sea. Maybe <laughs> not from the sky. We're all looking the wrong direction. Yeah, y'all we're focus all, on the sky. We all were looking else. up. Got to be looking. We down. all were looking up. Should have been, should have been paying us, attention to what was underneath us. Had us fooled. Yeah. <laughs> Boom, movie idea right there. Exactly. We got to trademark that. We got a tagline and everything. Everyone was looking up. <laughs> the whole they should have been looking down. Earth. I think that's, that is a movie called Journey to the Center of the Earth. <laughs> yeah. So we, they made it the whole we, 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 we That is a, changed it enough, I think. Okay. I just watched. <laughs> it's uh, on a journey. Like, we're not trying to go there. We're just yeah, trying to prove Yeah, things are coming to attack. There. I watched uh, that new Vince Vaughn horror movie, that freaky movie. All that shit is, is Freaky Friday with yeah, fucking zero. Killer. I heard about it. I didn't watch it, it though. Was, oh, it was fine. I mean, I heard it was it, decent. It doesn't take itself seriously, and that's what I love about a horror movie like that. Like, yeah, if you're gonna be a dumb horror movie with Vince Vaughn in it, don't take yourself too fucking seriously. I heard it was pretty decent though. I, I read about it. Yeah, it's, I think it's also on HBO Max. It was pretty good. It was fine. Huh. Sweet. Vince Vaughn acting like a teenage girl is kind of funny. <laughs> Yeah, you don't really see him in too much anymore. Yeah, yeah, I always like this one. I know this big cat. He was looking at that little cat a while. Not anymore. He's sleeping yeah, he was looking yeah, at he's kind of like, nuts he was right like, now. What the fuck are you doing right now? I uh, I, I finished uh, Breath of the Wild, Alex. Yeah, and I, I mean, there's a ton of side missions I didn't do, but I said, "Fuck that!" I did fuck the main I shit. It. I That's beat it. Um, I was a bad man, of course. Like the only thing I didn't like, which it, it happens in pretty much most Nintendo games, it just kind of abruptly ends after yeah. you beat the final boss. It's just like, oh, oh, they like get rescue Zelda. She says a couple things. Credits. Yeah. <laughs> like there's really no like wrap like, up. It's pretty much thanks, out with, and that's with it. <laughs> every Zelda game, with every Mario game, it's just kind of like, all right, 
You got the princess. Credit. <laughs> Save the princess. Which I felt like after all the time it took me to like go through the game and fight all the bosses and everything just to have that. I was like, oh, I forgot. They just kind of end. <laughs> There's really no satisfying ending. Uh, the only, I mean, it kind of was because I mean, Ganon is super pretty hard at the end. So I mean, I yeah, it took me took me a little while to beat him, which was it's, it was satisfying to beat him. So I guess that works works out in the end. All the bosses have somewhat of a challenge to them. If especially if like you're underprepared <laughs> going into the situation, that's the thing about like with Breath of the Wild compared to other Zelda games where normally with other Zelda games, you're progressing and you kind of get what you need as you go with Breath of the Wild. If you don't come across it on your own or you don't find out like you don't do the mission, you're kind of screwed. It yeah. lets you go to the the like yeah. farther in the game without the shit that you you need you can, you can go to ganon right away as soon as you get the open world you can ride right to him yeah you can go right in and fight him if you yeah. want so you don't, need, <laughs> you don't need to do all the crap yeah so i mean if if you go there's these things called like it's like four or five divine beasts and they're like these huge things you gotta like solve a puzzle in and then fight a boss if you do all of them and then go to ganon it takes his health down half automatically when you go right. to fight him yeah. so then you only have to fight him with half health which that's what I did. And he's still hard. Man. So I mean, <laughs> um, it was, it was definitely challenging. I don't, I still don't think it's the masterpiece. Everybody makes it out to be though. <laughs> I still but think you found it's, some well, love for it. Yeah. I found some love for it. It was entertaining. I think I'm going to play the sequel when it comes out. Um, but I, I definitely think it's overhyped. It's overrated for what it is. <laughs> hmm. so overall, overall, it's, it's, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a good game to like, it's a great RPG. Like, figuring out everything um i don't know i just kind of fell back into it and i enjoyed you know rolling through to the end on it i'll have to go back and give it another chance <laughs> yeah and i just bought the I, i'm waiting for it to come from amazon then the skyward sword remake that just came out uh, i think i might get that mm, yeah, yeah so I, i'm gonna be playing that as soon as it gets here on saturday i'm gonna start that one so i finished it just in time and i beat mass effect 2 last night so i'm gonna oh, be geez. starting mass effect 3 <laughs> You're I'm going to beat uh, Phoenix room. Wright next, I think. Phoenix Wright's my next game. I'm Phoenix going Wright? To. Or Ace and Tourney or whatever the fuck it's called. Whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> You're not downloading any of those Steam games, Alex, that you were no, recommended? No. On Monday, no. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm just still <laughs> thinking about it. Yeah. Dollar ninety nine for some titties seems like uh, <laughs> seems like I don't, I don't need it. I want to play more Left for Dead, man. I've been itching, dude. It, yeah. It's been fun. I'm excited for Back for Blood, especially knowing that it's like cross play, like yeah. between all the systems and everything. I was just telling Vernon, you guys seen the impressions of the beta? People are not liking it. I'm hoping really? they I fix it up. So much. No. Yeah, people are saying it's a step down from Left for Dead too. Now. Hey, I was telling Vern, everybody that I've watched prefaced it with like, it's the beta. It's supposed to it be. It is a beta, yeah. It's supposed to be like this, there, but they're but like. But today's Sammy's world, the beta is pretty much like where the game's going to be. Just yeah. with some he, tweaks. What are they saying well, about it? Uh, do you do you know? or? Well, I mean, the biggest complaint is that they said it's just boring. They said there's no uh -huh. locations fun. They just like, you're just moving from room to room. And I feel like that's Left for Dead. That's what Left for Dead um, was. Yeah. yeah. But. They said like Left 4 Dead had per like the characters had personalities and stuff like they kept it going where I don't feel like that. I just like they're just characters to me. Yeah. Um, but some of the minor complaints with like the the things where there's like no audio cues, like when the monsters come, like the big monsters, you know, oh. like when you run into a tank, you hear like him yeah. screaming. They said like big things will just come and hit you like out of fucking nowhere. Like yeah, you don't know they're cool. coming. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that could be part like something they they can just add in though. Yeah. yeah so I mean, yeah. 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 And, that and that's what the point of it is. But they were saying that they said the gun plays, the positives I've heard, cause I don't want to just come in here negative. I've heard the gun plays really fun. Um, they said it's way better than left for dead. Like the gut, like, just the handling of the all the guns. Game, you yeah. can zoom in now. You I was going to say, you could probably aim down sight now. Yeah. They said it's, and not in a derogatory way, but they said it's much more Call of Duty feel, like where it's like quick gunplay and you can move around. Yeah. yeah. But not uh, clunky. Yeah. I, it's a beta, but most people just said it it was it was boring and it had a lot of uh, just little tiny tweaks it needed to do, but important tweaks, you know. Yeah. yeah. They're important things. So we'll see. It's but, got a couple yeah, more. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. that's that seems to be what a lot of games are lately. So as long as they listen to what people are saying, that's what matters. 
Yeah. The only Time thing I, tell, I mean, because I saw that the Alien game that's coming out soon is getting like decent, like first impression so far. Yeah. So I'm, mean, I i do not know. I haven't really seen too much on that either lately. I, the the three player shooter one. Yeah. When? Yeah. The yeah. Uh, Alien Fire Team. Me, you, and Quentin are gonna have to do that, man. Because like, it yeah. can't be a squad night game. We have to do that on our own time. Yeah. I'm gonna have to come. I'm gonna. Me might have to go and pitch to get Vern Evil Dead when it comes out. <laughs> so yeah. he'll play with us since he's watched the movies now. Is that four players? I'll get that. I'll so, get it. Uh, I think so. I'm, I'm sure it's probably like Friday Thirteenth where you could have like a squad of people. Yeah. Well, then I think we can all get it. I think even Evan not seeing it can find enjoyment out of it. So you know? you guys are interested in getting the new Battlefield game too, right? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that comes out ten days after Back for Blood. So if we hate it, we can be like, yeah. uh, we, so the next week we might we'll be good just to go. listen. And the only thing that beta being bad tells me is not that I don't want the game. I just might want to give it a week before I buy it. Like to see what people Get the say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's, let's see what it is. Cause listen, I'll buy a game that's rated a six or a seven. You know, I don't care if they say yeah. it's okay. If they say it's just mediocre, being with you guys and playing through, it brings it up. Yeah. We'll make it fun. Like, yeah, like that's honestly. fun. Cause even, I bought a Ninja Turtles like years ago and it came out and people were like, oh, it's like terrible. Five out of five. But me and Cody played through it and we had a great time, you know, like because it was us together. Like, yeah. yeah, I was like, this is fun. I had a great time. We we're just whooping up on and it was a bad game, but whatever. Just got to beat up somebody with my brother. It's yeah. fun. So we'll see. Yeah, Battle yeah, man. Yeah, that comes out on the 22nd of October and Back for Blood comes out the 12th. Which I think I'm not going to be here. Oh, yeah, I'll be here on the 12th. Of well, course, exactly it's a Tuesday. It's got to be a Tuesday, not a Monday. Games, all games come out on Tuesdays, man. Uh, I might have not pause not the that. Battlefield that comes out on a Friday. Uh, <laughs> maybe we'll flip that week's uh, squad night. Like, just whip it to something. We can do, like, the podcast on Monday and the game yeah. on Thursday or something. <laughs> It'll work. For one week, we'll be fine. I know uh, that Ghost of Tsushima director's cut comes out on the twentieth. Yeah, I want to play the the Legend with you, man. The I know I, I I haven't played it at all. Yeah. I have it downloaded. I'm definitely scooping that director's cut. I might have to take a break from Mass Effect Three to play that. I don't. I, uh, I don't know if I should wait. It took me a while to <laughs> go through Mass, Mass Effect Two, man. Two. It my play time on Mass Effect Two was twenty eight hours. How far are you in Mass Effect Two, man? Like three hours. Uh, <laughs> I love, love the intro to Mass Effect 2, dude. Yeah. It, it didn't take me intros. long to run through the first one. Uh, but the, the second one, man, there's so much to it. So dude. much. Yeah, yeah, the intro to that is great. The ending is fantastic. Dude, like, even, like, I, I finished it, I started 3. And the intro to 3 is fucking great, too, man. Yeah. I really like the intro to 3. It's, like, as it goes on is where it fucking falls apart but i really liked and i know everybody hated on it but i really liked the co-op or the the yeah, multiplayer and played the I multiplayer would, of it man we played it a ton i actually liked it a lot yeah I was, but people hated it i remember and i was like i thought it was fine <laughs> maybe that was one of the things what you were talking about because it was me and you playing it yeah, exactly like, yeah this is fun just shooting just, aliens just mass affected around man just mass effect multiplayer it was really cool though I'm excited to see that Ghost of Tsushima play that multiplayer with you, man. That'd be cool. I'm excited. Uh, excited what's another, cut. This is another game I saw that I was kind of excited for. Um, some dinosaur game. What the fuck was it? it dinosaurs. Yeah, dinosaurs. It was like uh, Alien Isolation, but with dinosaurs. You had like raptors and shit chasing you. What? That sounds cool. Yeah. Huh. I have to look it up. I just I saw was going to say... If they had the balls to do it, I would love a great like first person survival horror like Jurassic Park game, dude. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd be scary as hell. We gotta play that uh, photoplasm game you wanted to play too, why? Phasmophobia. Yeah, whatever it was called. <laughs> Phasmophobia is dope. If we could all scoop that, that's a that's a pretty scary game from what I've seen. I've seen some uh. gameplay of it. Listen, I'll play scare games. All it is as is literally not so hard. It it would be the four of us uh, as a what you would see on like the sci-fi channel, the the paranormal investigators that go in with like the the thing. different machines and the lights and stuff. <laughs> That's what you do. Is like your your ghost hunters that go into a house 
and like you can roam around the house and search for clues and then you can actually go outside as well. But it's like the four of you that are communicating and you're actually working together. But there's ghosts in the house. <laughs> and Evan, I know you were making fun of me, but I really thought we could do GTFO. I've read plenty of games. Where, like, These games are hard as shit. And I was like, all right, it'll be hard. I'll get through it eventually. That game put me in my fucking place. That game dude, is but. hard. Dude, it's hard as shit. We gotta is... retry. We gotta dude. retry. I'm with you. I'm I'm down to try again, but holy shit, dude. I'm gonna like... get back to Demon Souls eventually here. I have See, that on PS5. I've and I like that kind of stuff. Like people are like, those are the hardest games in the... I've beaten Bloodborne and Demon Souls. I got super far in Sekiro. I never beat it, but I got super far. Like, <laughs> I've done that shit. This game. I'm put I'm decent. Play. I'm a decent bit into Demon Souls, Bro. and it's just a game I just I'll come back and play for a little bit, and then I'll come get on. pissed a little and then I'll stop for a while. Just to your point, Alex, I'm playing that Spider-Man Miles Morales. Mm -hmm. I haven't really played it in like a week or so here now, but like I'm on I put it on the absolute hardest difficulty, and I'm like this is this is not that fucking hard. You it's know what I mean? I'm like going yeah. through it. But mm -hmm. GTFO is a whole nother story, bro. It's, it's just a whole like it's ridiculous. Again, Miles Morales so good, dude. Me and Y used to play um Rainbow Six Vegas. I wish that would have worked for us. And yeah, like, it was hard. It was hard, man. It was hard, but like it was doable. We eventually we, got we it. We figured it out because yeah, we like, figured out like a system. But GTFO, man, just like one mistake and you're done. Like it's it. You're it out really of there. was like it was so punishing, and it's. Like the levels are just just long enough that it's just yeah, like, man. you know, we got we went through it took us like we did three or four weeks, right? Yeah, man. We yeah. Did it a few and we, times. we got to one the level. very end of like, yeah, we got to the times. end, but it was like each night we were getting to like the next section of that level. And then we got to the next section. We're like, and okay, then we, we were know just how getting to, get to the, the end, end every time. And then we and got then. to the end and we're like, OK, well, now we just got to get like out of here. And then there's one more thing we have to do, and then it's just we it can't, just we can't get us. it. It was difficult, man. It sucked. Yeah, that that is definitely the hardest game I've played. Uh, I will do more research next time I suggest the game. So I'll, I'll just be quiet and play whatever <laughs> you guys want to play. That for, would have been for, something nice to play back in the day when we can play for like five hours. Yeah, yeah really. really. Do it and like, again and again. That and again. would have been a great game for that because we would have figured it out. You know, didn't we used to do squad night? We used to do it on like a weirder night. It just became Monday. I think it was Fridays or Thursdays. Yeah, you know, we used to uh, do we it. Doing on it we were doing it for like two days for a minute too. We were doing yeah. it like Monday. Oh yeah, and like when Thursdays, I when Mondays I didn't and work, when I had off for like six months, man, I was on Monday and Wednesday. I think. Yeah, Monday and Wednesdays we were doing it. Yeah. I think we just turned that second one into this. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly what we we're did. doing it twice a week for a minute. That's when we were playing like GTA hardcore. We did the Mondays. Uh, I think we've been doing that since like Destiny. Like Destiny yeah. 1. Mondays? Yeah, that's what started it. Yeah. I just don't feel like, and maybe I just didn't always have the job I currently have, but like, I don't know. Maybe we used to get on early. I feel like we used to play a lot longer. Because like, we would uh, get yeah. on at like 9. for hours. We would get yeah. on at like 8.30 or because 9. Because we didn't have to get put kids but to our bed children were younger. We were, we were ready to go at like 8.30 yeah, or 9 Our children were much younger. Yeah. 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 So I remember, Alex, you would get on early. Sometimes me and you would be on at like 7.30. 7.30 yeah, or 8. I didn't have and it, we would just be gaming. Yeah, I didn't have And then, then we would game until somebody else got on, and then we would game even more. <laughs> we were gaming for like 4 like or 5 two in the hours. Morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. We I remember when I, I lived in Greece for a little bit. When we were oh, playing I Destiny, can't do I would anymore. I would like set up all my stuff in like their spare room and it was filled with like all this junk. And I'd like be trying to like climb out of there at like two o'clock in the morning. And like man, just I, like oh shit. Because I, game I, I was now, playing in, in our bedroom and Brittany's trying to sleep and like I can't I can't talk to you guys and not get excited. So like, Me, dude, I get yelled at it all the time. Yeah. Like when we play PlayStation, I get yelled at for it all. She's like, shut up. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Well, like it's like you gotta you gotta get into it like <laughs> you can't just be a bystander to all the excitement so yeah so like um, i have to go to a whole, my whole other room and now i have to play in the living room <laughs> are uh are you guys buying madden it comes out in a week hell yeah i'm not but i <laughs> not i never i have never hell bought yeah. a madden game i've been debating on on buying it i know Kyrie is like yeah really, true really that gives you another cool. reason yeah true I might buy it just so we could play that shit too. It's been a while yeah. since I bought a Madden. Yeah, actually. Yeah, I, I, you know, me. I'm. Kevin's like, I've never bought a Madden. I've never. Nope. 
<laughs> there are other reasons, too. I can actually play with my bulls this coming year on 2K, so I'm looking forward to buying that one. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be cool, too. Speaking of basketball, our rookie just hit uh, two shots, and he hit a shot to put us to overtime, and then he hit a shot to win overtime. Nice. Uh, both both others buzzer beaters. Uh, I know you probably won't, but look up the the double OT shot, dude. Like he's dribbling and he loses it, and he has to like turn around and go get it, and he just like loops the whole way around and just jumps, gets hit, and drills this thing. It's like Kobe s man. Like it's that shot where like Kobe was getting bumped in the three point line and he shoots it. It looked exactly like that. It was awesome. He's inspiration, dude. It was awesome i mean i know it's just summer league but i was like yes <laughs> who the fuck gonna let the nets draft a kid who averaged fucking 28 points in college like you think the nets need any more scoring on their fucking team like stop it no defense though no, no defense though. yeah we're just gonna beat every team it's 160 or bust like that's it that's what i'll be doing in 2k yeah with, but that's neat. what's gonna realistically happen too sure yeah you think I doubt any like you think I ever doubt that the Nets can't put up 150 points in a night? Like I think they can, hundred percent. Yeah. Absolutely. But, fucking go ham. So good game today though, Wyatt. I, saw some okay, I only watched I only watched like a quarter and a half. <laughs> I didn't watch the whole I game. hope it was the first quarter because you had us in the first I'm half. guessing we lost because I haven't checked. You did it. loss. Yeah, you lost. <laughs> Our yeah. third straight quarterback just throw a fucking interception after interception. And uh our our wide receivers eventually got it together. But I was yeah. checking on it for a minute and I saw that like the dude that came in after Joe Flacco was throwing picks. So I was like, Oh, let's go and go ahead and end badly. <laughs> So weird seeing Joe Flacco like in an Eagles uniform. It was, was like weird. Was man. Like, what? Get the fuck it's out of here. Super Joe. weird. <laughs> yeah, I watched like right after that the Quez Watkins touchdown. I watched like another series, and then I was like, all right, I'm turning this off. I don't need to watch the rest <laughs> of this. <laughs> yeah, I, wanted, I didn't mainly just wanted to see the first the first triggers. I wanted to see Jalen Hurts. Yeah. I hope Mason Rudolph loses his job to Dwayne Haskins. Oh, he probably will, man. I hope Dwayne Haskins been looking good those past two games. For you guys. Yeah, man. I mean, it's crazy though because Rudolph went eight for nine. You know, like he didn't do bad at all. Like he was fine, but he just doesn't. I don't know. He just doesn't bring enough to it. He's yeah. just safe. It's like get the fuck out of here. He's like <laughs> he just looks like the definition of a backup quarterback. Somewhere. Yeah, he really does. <laughs> He's really like does. the the generic Madden like. QB they would give you or something. <laughs> I feel bad for him too, man. He had a rough start to his career. Yeah, and then dude took a helmet to the head. <laughs> dude, before like three games before he took the helmet to the head, he got hit by that Ravens linebacker, and they had to cut his face mask off because they were. I so, remember, yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. He like because it, it had most... look like the old school face mask. Yeah, there was those dude. Memes about it. Yeah, man. <laughs> they had to cut his because they were afraid his brain was like pushed around, dude. Like, man, this Miles guy just... Garrett tries to kill him. Yeah, and then calls him a racist out of fucking nowhere. He was like, "What?" <laughs> they they yeah, had no there still people. hasn't been. Yeah, there's been no evidence. No evidence. But Mason Rudolph does look like a dude that would throw that word around. That's so <laughs> fucking wrong. Man. This dude got assaulted with a helmet, and you guys are like, I don't know. He probably said it. He looks like it. <laughs> he looks just like said he said it. it a time or two before. That's this all I gotta say. An innocent fucking bystander getting beat up by a fucking dude with rage problems. <laughs> dude, He's like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. He kind of looks, looks, looks like a bitch. Kinda <laughs> looks like... I had to have said something for him to fucking want to take his helmet off and hit him with it. That's like <laughs> something had to have happened that nobody's saying. So. <laughs> what? And it's a fucking Raven or a Browns uh, Steelers game. That shit's always chippy. Same with the no, Ravens and Steelers. No, there's some. You there's don't a remember Miles Garrett, a star player, took his helmet off and tried to hit him. <laughs> that motherfucker said something or did something, dude. Oh, he may not so have said wrong. that word, but I'm saying something was said or done that warranted him coming. I'm not saying that what he did was right, but I'm saying something happened that made <laughs> oh, Miles Garrett come after him. Well, he pushed him. He for sure pushed him. Okay. He got in trouble for that. Fucking... They were in each other's face, and he pushed him away. Oh and my Miles god, was like, that was so fuck? crazy. They got his face, go said some shit. Maybe get the done. Yeah, he probably shouldn't have thrown his hoe. Bro, Miles Garrett was 100 in the wrong. 
It's not like me and you've yelled at each other. Oh, and I was saying, like, yeah, I am going to hit you with a fucking helmet. Like, I'm just fucking threw hands yeah, at him. Man, like, like, a helmet. You can't fucking, you can't do that shit. Yeah, like, you can't, you I about? agree. I fully agree. You can't be doing that shit. You, you a grown ass fucking man. This is your job. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I agree. That wasn't the argument. I wasn't saying he was in the right. I'm just saying there's probably something that warranted, like, that said, that started everything. You know, that's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I mean. Yeah, well, I'm not saying what he did was right. It wasn't. I don't know. Point of it was Mason Rudolph had a rough start to his career. Yeah, and he's going to have a rough end to it too because he's probably, probably. not going to be playing much longer. <laughs> I, I think. Be, I don't know. If he sucks. He'll be a backup. I, I'm with you. He'll be a perpetual backup his whole life. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, Evan, do you have anything? Anybody have anything? No, yeah, I'm. I'm good. Vern, I don't got you been nothing. quiet, man. You got nothing. Oh no, I was just looking up a video of that Miles Garrett shit. That shit's crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> just swinging. How far are you with Spider Man Miles Morales? Kyrie's further than me, man. Like I haven't really. I think I'm like maybe six hours in, five hours, six hours in. Like, but I I can't. Sorry, I was coughing. <laughs> I came in. Uh, like, I oh, came so into what? his room the other day, and he was playing it. And he was at a part like fighting some boss that I haven't even seen yet. And I'm like, whoa! I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. I gotta be. like, so like, I, I had to even leave the room because. So I know he's flying through it. He's enjoying it pretty much, but it's it's really cool so far. It's awesome, man. I really enjoy it. I flew through that game. It's not like super long either. There's a there's a decent amount to do in it that that gives it replayability. That, Right, but I figured it wasn't that long as far as the main story either. So yeah. that's why I didn't want to fly through it necessarily. But I figured Kyrie would enjoy flying through it because like yeah. he doesn't really tend to beat games too too often. So this would be really great for him. Yeah, <laughs> something he could just roll through. Whereas exactly. honestly, I know you're like that. Where you're like you're exploring, you're fucking looking at every going right. to all the markers on the map. <laughs> I'm trying to like do all the crime shit on the side and like uh, I'm trying 100%. to be Spider Man. You know. <laughs> like, he might have all that shit done too, though. True, true, yeah. yeah kids. Games are different than what what we were when we were that age or like younger. You know, when we were just playing PlayStation One and Two, and Super Nintendo, where there wasn't like open Easy. world games. They were that, more like, linear all... back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, didn't... they had some hidden things if you went looking for them, like some little hidden areas, but it wasn't anything too crazy. Like nowadays, had to look up the online. side missions are part of the game. Like that's they're nearly they're not mm. throwaways anywhere. Yeah, yeah, and then you have like collectibles hidden throughout like the city that you have to you could find to do something else, you know. And then the achievements they suck you like, in. Not used to a lot more. I don't. I don't fuck about more. achievements to be honest. <laughs> I don't care about them. Any. I had to kick it. I yeah, can't, they used look at they the used same. to a lot more for me. I used to look through them and try to get them, but now I'm like, yeah. oh, fuck. Now I just go I through the game fuck. and enjoy yeah. it. <laughs> I, I get what I get. It's fine. You're too crazy. <laughs> I know Quentin was like that for a minute. Like I, I like he was like, man, I gotta get this last. I'm been grinding trying to get this last trophy or achievement. Like, can't do it, man. I've been there, done that. Yeah, don't do it. I, I had a buddy I used to work with, and she literally like bought games just for, to get platinum trophies because she read that they were easy platinum. Because they were easy to get. Oh my and god! And she's what? like, she's like, I bought it just because it was an easy platinum. I What's need the, the trophies. Point of playing it then, just that's I crazy, fucking, dude. I don't fucking know, man. I mean, I would hope look that at they were enjoying profile. the game at least at some um, point, right? Like, usually, those games aren't fun. That's why they got easy platinum. That's what, yeah, but that's. That's crazy. Like, why would you play a game you don't enjoy? I mean, I guess if we you played enjoy... Destiny for weeks, man. What are you talking about? How long we played Destiny 2? <laughs> Wait, hold up. I love I Destiny 2. Like, I didn't 2. enjoy that shit one bit. I was, I was <laughs> I bored the whole time. <laughs> it was so good. And then they no, ruined it. De- uh, Destiny 2, I'll give you. It wasn't that great. I'm joking. <laughs> Destiny 1 was amazing. Yeah, we had some good times with Destiny 1. Yeah. 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 Played Destiny the shit out of it. Played for a little bit. <laughs> and then it fell that off. That shit did used to piss us off, though, man. Uh, it is those fun. raids. Oh, oh yeah, it gets so far, and then just we never finished the raid. Up. I don't think we ever finished the raid. No, dude. we we got past yeah. the we first tried... part. 
And, we and tried we were, so many times that we didn't have enough people. We were satisfied because yeah. I remember we got one chest and we were like, all right, we did it. Like, we didn't even get <laughs> to like the final boss. We just got past like the first section. But yeah, yeah those right. games we need like more sound great where they're like, oh, you have to grind. And you have, like, it's just like, man, I don't got time to be grinding to get that high gear loot to like do these raids, you know? Yeah. Like, like, I don't have fucking 200 hours to sink into this game. Yeah. I got see, other stuff to do. I play I'm at the point where I don't want to play the same me. level over and over and over and over and over again. Exactly. <laughs> like, I like I would be able to back in the day where I didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, now it's like, all right, I don't feel like doing this. I'm moving on. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason I have a hard time getting into, like, MMOs and stuff. Like, the grind to me just isn't... It's not that it's not fun. I just don't have the time to do it. You know, like, I just yeah. feel like I'm constantly behind. I feel like that's why I didn't like Breath of the Wild yeah. for the longest time. Because that shit's a grind, dude. You got to, like, figure out shit on your own. I don't want you're it. All, you're completely on your own in that game. I don't want <laughs> it. It's a grind, man. But <laughs> I found, like, a little system, and I kind of figured it out. And that's when I just kind of ran through the story. Did some <laughs> side missions when I could, but I, I said, found a wiki. Screw that. Fun. Bro, I had to sometimes because I'm puzzles, Kidding. man. They get hard oh, as so shit. Like, Kidding. all right, I spent <laughs> 10 minutes on this puzzle. I'm searching up how to do this shit. And how do you do this puzzle? I, I do that. Much. I do it all the time, man. Don't, I'm not picking on you at all. I try yeah, something I don't three care. Four times and I'm like, all right, how the fuck do I do this? I need to know. <laughs> There's sometimes <laughs> when you just you just go on the internet and just give in. Yeah. Just, like, just tell me there. how to do it because I'm just I'm done. Yeah, I looked up. Uh, I just beat Ori, and I looked up how to beat the final boss in Ori too. Hey, like man, I just got to do it sometimes. I was just missing something. I was like, "Am I just like my underpowered? And I need to go back." Like, what, what fuck happened? is his weakness? Am I yeah. just not good <laughs> enough? Am I just not good enough? <laughs> the sad thing was, is when I did look up the video, he wasn't doing anything special. I just wasn't good enough. I was like, "Fuck!" Oh, but I did, damn. I okay. I eventually beat it. There was well, no. That, I did that. Probably make you feel a little better. It's like, okay, yeah. I'm doing everything right, just not good enough. Yeah. Like, I kept I did dying it. and dying and dying to Ganon at the end of Breath of the Wild because he uses like these these like laser attacks, which like those I don't know if you remember them like the big machines that ride right around they use. Yeah. And I spent the whole game avoiding those things, so I never I fought them a couple times here and there, but I avoided them for the most part. And I looked up like a strategy to how to beat them, and you can fucking deflect the beam back at them by doing like a perfectly timed like parry with their shield yeah i didn't even know you could do that and i so was gonna learn goddamn game without knowing how to do this and you could do it with arrows and shit i think too oh, so wait. i went through the whole game without knowing how to deflect all these beams i'm getting blasted with throughout the whole game and like it took oh, a minute because like it's easy to do a little bit at the beginning of the fight and then he goes into like super boss mode where you have to like time it perfectly. Yeah. And it, it took me a couple of tries to get that down, but as soon as I figured it out, man, it was cake. You gotta like relearn something like But I was like, yeah, boss. like you were I was like, there's there's something I'm missing here because nothing I was doing was working whenever he like went super powered. And I was like, what the fuck am I missing? I can't hurt him now. And then you gotta time that yeah, shit perfectly. I didn't even know you could do that move. <laughs> <laughs> Like that would have been useful hours ago. Yeah, when I was beating the game. When I was playing through the rest of the game. <laughs> uh, uh, All right. Well, yeah. it's about that time. It is about that time. Yeah. Someone else can send us off because I do it often. So. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> make sure to uh, like and subscribe, everybody. Uh, go follow us on Twitter at Squad Pod Sports and at Squad Pod YouTube. I believe it is right, Evan. I don't use it. <laughs> all right then go I follow us on facebook on it. <laughs> and check out all of our, our other content on the channel and uh we'll see everybody next week bye bye